Here's your daily sports rush from Sports Not for September 12, 2024. What's up, sports fans? It's Scott Cobranza here with your daily sports rush from Sports Not. We've made it until Thursday, so hold on. We're on the brink of the weekend. Let's run into that Friday and check out the latest sports news right now. Oh boy, week two of the NFL kicks off with a doozy tonight. Bills versus Dolphins. You've got two AFC East powerhouses, both who pulled off ridiculous week comebacks. Down 14. No problem. Now they meet in Miami to see who gets early bragging rights. And let's be real. The Bills have owned the Dolphins in recent years, winning 11 out of the last 12 meetings. But hey, Tua and Tyreek, they might have something to say about that. Will Josh Allen continue his Miami domination? Or is it finally time for the Dolphins to turn the tide? We'll find out on Thursday Night Football on Amazon Prime. From sunny Miami to mile high in Denver, and it's bad news for the Broncos, rookie Audric Estime is headed to IR after an ankle injury in week one. I mean, the kid showed flashes, but fumbled. Literally, the Broncos fans, you'll have to wait until at least week six to see him back again, while Denver's running back room takes another hit. With Williams and McLaughlin holding down the fort, maybe they can stay afloat. But man, injuries already? Broncos country, hold on tight. Ah, the Pac-12, it's like that high school reunion where half the class doesn't show up. Now, with just Washington State and Oregon State left holding the banner, they're looking to patch up the conference by bringing in Boise State, San Diego State, and others. Pac-12 is like, hey, we can make this work, but with $17 million exit fee for each school they snag, this is turning into a messy, expensive game of musical chairs. Will it work, or will we be watching the slow fade of a once mighty conference? Stay tuned. The drama ain't over yet. And finally, let's end with some WNBA history. Asia Wilson, take a bow because you just smashed the single season scoring record, passing Jewel Lloyd with 941 points, and she still got games left. Wilson wasn't messing around last night against the Fever, dropping 27 points and grabbing 12 boards to cement her spot on the record books. MVP season, yeah, probably. The A's are eyeing their third straight title and Asia is doing the heavy lifting. She's rewriting the history books, folks, and we're all the witnesses. All right, that's your Daily Sports Rush. We'll be back tomorrow looking at all the college football for this weekend. Never forget, my friends, stay sporty.